sexual predators, suicide tendencies, eating disorders and unrealistic beauty standards. These are just some of the issues that young people are dealing with on social media. And of course, children activists and lawyers say that companies are not doing enough to protect them. Now on Wednesday, the CEOs of Meta, TikTok, X and Snap Inc. testified in the Senate Judiciary Committee addressing the charges. The tech chiefs are faced with a torrent of political anger over the accusations. During the hearing, senators told Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg that his tech platform is responsible for people's deaths. Take a listen. Uh, Mr. Zuckerberg, you and the companies before us, I know you don't mean to it to be so, but you have blood on your hands. You have a product. You have a product that's killing people. Throughout the course of the hearing, parents who lost their children to suicide held up pictures of their kids. The hearing began with recorded testimony of survivors and the parents of the children who have been affected. The man who initially exploited my body is currently incarcerated. But the man who allowed my abuse to spread on Facebook was in that hearing room with me moments ago. His name is Mark Zuckerberg. I lost my 17-year-old son July 27, 2022. Um, took his life after being extorted on Instagram. Um, the symbol that I wear, my congressman, or my senator wore today, is a lesson three sign, which is the last message that my son sent out before he took his life. Just as a way to tell his friends, I love you. I hope we can have a TikTok CEO Shoshu said that the platform is vigilant about enforcing its 13 and up age policy. Meanwhile, Linda Yaccarino, the CEO of social media platform X, urged the Senate to pass the Report Act and showed favor for the Support Act, both of which can protect young adults and children. Senator Josh Hawley questioned the Meta CEO over compensations for the victims. He added, and I'm quoting him here, that 37% of teenage girls between 13 and 15 were exposed to unwanted nudity in a week on Instagram. Now, in a stunning moment during the hearing, the Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg apologized to the parents of victims while he was on the dais. And this is why we invested so much and I hope you doing industry big efforts to uh, to make sure that no one has to go through the types of things that your families and have to suffer. The Snap Inc. CEO, Evan Spiegel, also offered similar condolences to parents whose children were able to get access to illegal drugs on Snapchat. 